guys! I'll be showing to you the university dorm for foreigners. As a JKS applicant before, when I was choosing which university I should apply to, I considered also the dorm part, like how much should I pay per term. And as an architect, I admit that I was picky, cause I really wanted a dorm that is not old and ventilation and lighting were important. And I think the room itself didn't disappoint when I got here in Korea. It's not as expensive as other universities do like in Seoul. For most Korean dorms, there is always a space for you to remove your shoes and a shoe cabinet when you enter your room. There are also a lot of space for you to put other stuff like your laundry detergents and other cleaning supplies. Next, key cards. The dorm uses key cards to activate power and lighting in the rooms. These cards also function as your in and out access in the dorm. Wardrobe here. This is what I like the most in the dorm because they provided a lot of storage spaces for the students to use. room phone which we don't actually use but they still provide it for internet use there's no wi-fi but there's a LAN cord provided if you want wi-fi you have to buy it on your own for me and my roommate we didn't buy we just connected the cord to our laptop and used the laptop as a router it was also nice that all rooms have balcony to try our clothes or use it as a storage for your luggage. That's what we did. Because when I got here, I had 40 kg of baggage as well as my roommate. So we had big luggage bags. Our balcony door has three layers. Outermost is the screen. Then double layer of glass doors. As you know, it's cold during the winter. These are the water and floor heater switches, the AC controller too, that's the laundry rack that they provided. The bathroom which is big enough for us, it's not the old which I like and it's easy to clean. Just a reminder for maintaining your room fresh and clean is that always ventilate the room because when we arrived to the dorm, the walls were moldy so we had to wipe the walls and everything.